So let's solve this problem. So given these two vectors a and b, then to find the sum and the difference of these two vectors. So first, we need to plot the graph of these vectors. Then for vector a, west of south, so therefore vector a lies on this quadrant. Then for this angle, since west of south, so therefore the angle is in south, and this is 47 degrees. Then for vector B, west of north, so vector B lies on this quadrant. And for this angle, since west of north, so therefore the angle is in north and this is 63 degrees then to find the resultant force using the components method so we're going to use this table and on this column the magnitude then for vector a the magnitude is 67 newton and for vector b that's 58 newton then for theta, so take note that in the components method, theta always starts from east. So to find now theta for vector A, since starts from east, and take note that on this quadrant, this is 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. So for vector A to find theta, so starts from east to vector A. So observe that this given angle is outside the rotation. So if outside, so we need to subtract these two angles. So this is 270 degrees minus 47 degrees so therefore theta for vector a that's 223 degrees then to find theta for vector b so again starts from east so from east to vector b so observe that this given angle is inside the rotation so if inside, so we need to add these two angles. So this is 90 plus 63 degrees. So therefore, theta for vector B is 153 degrees. Then this time, we can find now the X components for vector A and B using this formula. So for the X component for vector A, so we have the magnitude that's 67, then cosine, theta is 223 degrees, so we have negative 49. So this is now the X component for vector A, then the X component for vector B, so the magnitude is 58 Newton, then cosine. 153 degrees for theta so this is negative 51.68 so this is now the ux component for vector a then to find out the y components for a and b so using this formula so we have now the magnitude is 67 then sine theta is 223 so y component for a that's negative 45.69 then to solve for b so that's 58 then sine 153 so that's 26.33 then this time we need to find the summation of the x components so just add all these numbers for the summation of the x components so we have negative 49 
then plus negative 51.68. So this is equal to negative 100.68. Then also we need to find the summation of the y components. So just add all these numbers. So that's negative 45.69, then plus 26.33. So this is negative 19.36. Then using now this table, so we can find now the resultant force and the formula for the resultant force. So we have the square root of the square of the summation of x components plus the square of the y component then substitute now all the values to solve for the resultant force so for the summation of x that's negative 100.68 to the power 2 then plus the summation of y that's negative 19.37 to the power 2 then to simplify so we have parentheses then negative 100.68 close parenthesis to the power 2. Then plus open parenthesis then negative 19.37 close parenthesis then to the power 2 equals so this is 10,511.66. Then to find the resultant force we need to take the square root. So we have the square root of 10,511.66, then close parenthesis. So the resultant force is 102.53 Newton. Then to find the angle, so this formula, so we have the inverse tangent, the summation of y over the summation of x. Then substitute now all the values. So for the summation of y, that's negative 19.37, then over summation of x, that's negative 100.68, then to solve for theta. So for this inverse tangent, so shift, then tangent, then open parenthesis, so negative 19.37, then divide by negative 100. 0.68 then close parenthesis so theta is equal to 10.89 degrees so this is now the angle for the resultant force then this time to find out the direction of this resultant force from the x and the y components since the x component is negative so this is negative x and since y component is also negative, so this is negative y. So therefore, this resultant force lies on this quadrant. So this is west and south. Then for the angle, since theta is positive, so therefore, that's counterclockwise. So therefore, this is now the angle. So the direction is south of west. And for the final answer, so we have 102.53 Newton at 10.89 degrees south of west. Then take note that if the angle is negative, then that's clockwise. So this is now the resultant force for the sum of these two vectors. Then this time, to find the difference of these two vectors, we have B minus A. Since B minus A is the same as B plus negative A, so therefore, we need to change the sign for A. So A becomes negative A. Then for the x and the y components, we need to take the opposite sign. So for the x components, since this one is negative, so this becomes positive. And for the y component, since this one is negative, so this becomes positive. So therefore, 
the sum of the x and the y components will change and also the angle for the negative a so to find now the sum of the x components so we have 49 plus negative 51.68 so that's negative 2.8 and for the y component so that's 45.69 plus 26.33 so that's positive 72.02 then for theta for negative a since this is the graph for positive a so to find the negative a we just need to take the opposite direction so this is for negative a and since this one is the angle so therefore this is the opposite angle. This is 47 degrees. Then to find theta, always starts from east. So from east to Victor negative A, since this angle is outside the rotation, so since outside, we need to subtract these two angles. So this is 90 minus 47. So therefore, theta is 43 degrees then using now this table so we can find now the resultant force for this difference of these two vectors so the same formulas then for this summation of x that's negative 2.68 plus the summation of y that's 72.02 then to simplify so we have open parentheses then negative 2.68 close parenthesis to the power 2 then plus so that's 72.02 to the power 2 so that's 5194.06 then to find out the resultant force so the square root of 5194.06 so the resultant force is 72.07 newton and to find theta, so this formula, so summation of y, that's 72.02, then over, summation of x, that's negative 2.68, and to solve for theta, so that's shift, then tangent, open parenthesis, then 72.02, divide by negative 2.68, close parenthesis, so theta is negative 87.87 and to find out the direction of this resultant force so since the x component is negative so this is negative for x y component is positive and this is positive for y so the resultant force lies on this quadrant so this is west and this one is north then since theta is negative, so therefore, clockwise, so this is now the movement of the angle, so therefore, this is now the angle, so the direction now of this resultant force is north of west. And for the final answer, so we have 72.07 Newton at 87.87 .87 degrees north of west.